All right, today we're gonna to be doing another pretty quick challenge. Uh, we're gonna be trying Go programming language. I've never ever written a single line of Go. I've seen perhaps a few lines, but I've never um, coded in it. My kind of go-to language is JavaScript for both front-end and back-end. And in the upcoming, well, let's see, maybe 30 or an hour, I'll try to implement something in Go uh, from scratch. Um, okay, let's see, download and, okay, install. Let's first start installing. Install Go on uh, OS X, right? Can I do brew install go? Brew install go. Brew install go lang. Maybe I, how do I know if I have Golang already? Okay, hold on. Also I'll be doing mm. Do you have any Go now? Nope. Um, go Lang Experiment. All right. Okay. From here, I have an empty directory. See, nothing's here. Um, go. Do I have go? Here you go. All right. Build. Is there like in it, like in other languages? Probably not. Okay. Go. Mm. Hello world in go. Mm. Go by example. All right, we're not gonna be watching videos because we are recording a video, right? Okay. Mmm, package main. Nice. What's the extension go? Probably go, right? Then, mm, then hello go, right? Success. And then we do go, hello go. No. Go. Maybe that's not the Golang. Okay. What's this Go version then? Weird. Okay, anyway. Um, and then, 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 then. Ah, uh, Go Run. Uh huh. Go Run. Hello, Go. Nice. Look at this. Impressive. Works, right? Um, is there like a way to. I wonder if there's a way to. Uh huh. Go build. Is there? No, 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 no. Um. Go build. Like in Node.js, you can. Ooh. Wow. So it builds. It builds like a one point eight megabyte. Are they crazy? Are they insane? So this is just like print out, hello gold, <laughs> hello world. What's F F and T? No idea what F and T is. Um, okay. All right, let's do this. Um, so, okay, what am I going to be building today is I will build, I don't even know what to build. Maybe I do. Um, A cool thing to the build. Well, I think interacting with the other, like the our world with the internet, is cool. So maybe something that will like curl some other web page and output the results. Um, so curl in go. Uh, HTTP request in GoLang. Mm-hmm, right, okay. Paste curl here. How do I, what, what is this? Instant like I'm gonna curl command to go code. Gen curl, uh-huh. Okay, mm-hmm. How do we, uh-huh. Okay, so first we import, 
I import this thing, right? Package main, why is the, I don't have no idea what package means, right? Um, and then we will package main fmt, what's fmt? Well, I wonder if I will comment this out with what happened. Is this the way, you, okay, this is the way you do comments in, um, Imported and not used, uh-huh. Undefined FMT, uh-huh. No idea what it is. Um, continue command line arguments. What? Go. Command line arguments. <laughs> How do I continuously? I want to like continuously run this so that like watches the changes of hello go and just prints them out. Uh, go lang uh, watch changes watch file changes right. So again, have zero knowledge of how to take zero knowledge of how to use go watch. For changes and restore go and detect file changes. La 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 la. In in JavaScript world, there is like just node mode. That's that's the way to go to do node mode. Node mode. This thing. I want to do something like that, but for go, meaning like to find something like that, and that will be just restarting. Whoa, this is complex. How on earth? Import. Wow. Uh huh. Okay. So people in 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 Go world, they just they would they would seems that this is the thing. This is the thing to do, right? Um. Okay. Um. File path watching nested and restore. I don't know. That's it seems that what fast system for changes. Let's watch. Um, go and watch for changes and restart. How do you rebuild the starts on file changes? Yes, that's probably what I'm looking for. Go watcher. Realize number one, go task partner. How do you? Then while true do go build. Well, I use and like it. Okay, this thing one year ago, six, eight points, six points here. Gen, I used before works really well for HTTP servers. Reflex. Okay, let's open a few of these and see if there's whichever got more stars. Uh-huh. So Jin seems to run a command when file change, run a command when file changes. Uh huh. This is this is not Go specific. Uh, this is live load utility for Go web service. Gen. Uh huh. Go get gen. Assign go gen run. Mm -hmm. This looks like it. Uh, go get. I'm not sure what get means. Maybe I should do something like go help get. Ooh, what is it? What does it do? What does it do? Usage. Go get. La la la. And get download. Get downloads the package. Maybe the import paths along with their dependencies installs the main packages. Like go install. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh huh. Verify the chain was installed correctly. Uh huh. Can see probably not yet. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. For now, okay. That's probably this. This gen thing should probably do the thing. It changes. Okay. Now we can close all of these. Since it's like two, two almost three thousand stars. My computer is not responding. Gen. Gen is not supported. No. Please. What if I do a new new tab? This work. Jin is not a combat. So sad. 
Mm-hmm. No. Wow, this is exciting. Assuming you have a working go environment and go path bin is your go path bin is your path. Shit. Um I wonder, can, can I do this? No? Let's go path. I feel like we're going down the rabbit hole. Not set go path, not set. Like, the exciting part about programming is like, when you start doing one thing and then suddenly you're like, Or Mac system, or is Mac system? Just consider it like Mac OS X. Um, Echo. Oh. Is there like a Go thing? Go path? And users, Cider. Is there a Go? Oh, I have a Go path. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um, mm. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Hope it's not uh, such a huge via path. Um, echo path. Uh huh. Path. How do I? How do I? Uh, I need to like amend stuff. Um, mm, nice. One two three. Nice. One two three. Echo. Um, nice. Nice path equals uh, uh -huh. I'm just re remember trying to remember the basics to do to, 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 to um echo nice no that's not what I want um we'll do this is huh what do you call nice echo nice uh huh. So it will just like amend stuff, right? Uh, nine nine nine. Echo. Nice. No. No, that's not how it works. Echo. Nice. Let's say this equals nice equals one two three. I'm like doing some some sort of like. Does it have a plus? Uh huh. Okay. Echo path. So it's separated by. I think it's. I think it's separated by a semicolon. Okay. Uh, so what should be in my? In my. Uh, setting. Home go go path equals <laughs> mm 
Mm -hmm. Maybe I should just, can I do just that? Chin. Nope. Um, then, uh... Okay. And GoPath should be in my export. Uh, okay. Um, uh -huh, okay. So we should do something like uh, path equals path. Let's see if this is going to work. Yeah, huge success. Hopefully, Jin. Of course not. Um, let's let's try to uh, Jin. No. Echo. Path. Not a thing, right? Go. I'm not even doing Go right now. It's, it's, it's like, why this language is making it so difficult for... Why can they not just, like, work? Gen. Like, after so many years of programming stuff, it's, I'm getting like annoyed. Like, why can things not just like work? Why can you like just out of the box make things available? Like, regardless how experienced a programmer you are, you can still need to do, deal with all this shit. Like, why can things not be just user friendly? Um, okay, now I'm just going back. Okay, I give up on this gin thing. Uh, imported and not used. Is that a, why is that a problem? Like, okay, hold on. This is shitty post. Okay, anyway. Um, Golang. Not HTTP, right? Okay. Can I do stuff like this? Response declared not used. Uh, FMT. Um, FMT print, print print line response. Is this okay? Or is this not like or something is not? Comment line arguments are declared and not used. Okay, getting started with Go is already avoiding annoying declared and not use stacker, right? How do I do this? Maybe that's part of the Go experience, I don't know. Fuck me. Um, no more routine. Uh huh. That error here is to force you to write better code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of things that, like in Go, a lot of things are there for like developer productivity, and there is a lot of like things that should help the code look the same regardless how 
bad of programming you are. Okay, anyway, but, um, uh huh. Log. This is a console log. Uh, go line console log. That's like the, the main thing logging print structures in console, right? Import log. Log. Mm -hmm. And then how to actually log things. Package log implements a simple logging package that type error logger logger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> print print ln is there a print ln? Okay. Interface, whatever that means, right? FMT, what's FMT? Bolang FMT, what is FMT? For matter or something? FMT the go package. Okay, we already spent 20 minutes in this FMT package. FMT implements formatted I.O. functions and I like to see print out. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. So I think we can do we can do just fine without the log and just do that, right? FMT. Um, can I? So like if I if I insert underscore here, will this? Nope. Um, if we insert underscore here, will this work? Um, um, paste, is there like a paste function? Uh, and not use error. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if error. I haven't even, I have no idea how the structures work. Uh, unexpected, expecting, uh huh, if it flips. Uh, go line, if else. By example. Mm -hmm. Uh huh, so, okay, so we actually have this without braces and then we open curly braces. That's that's weird. Sorry. I think that's weird. Um how do we cut in 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 um like this. if condition what does that mean non boolean error type error used as if condition uh huh oh fuck seriously why do go creators choose not to know If error, print error. So what's what's wrong? Non boolean error, type error, used as if condition. Um, mm -hmm. This is helpful. That's a sarcasm. If error, uh huh, something like that. No. Not equals no. Let's try. Not equals nil, so formatting, hello world, output, okay, log, okay. And how do I, how do I figure out the structure of this thing? So, okay, maybe I, I want to do, I have this like filter thing. Do I not, do I not? Okay, no, probably not. Uh, jobs. Shit. Shit. Uh, 
jumps filter. Yeah, this should have a maybe jump filter. That should have a JSON output. Yes, fantastic. It has a JSON output. Okay, hello world, and huge output, and how do we, okay, response, okay, so we need to figure out how to post the structure of this response thing, right? Right, uh-huh, response, this is the HTTP, okay, response, response body post for, what, what the heck does that mean, I don't know, uh-huh, for image, get, mm. I wanna, I wanna get up some body. So response defer. What, what does it defer do? I have no idea what, what is defer. But okay, I should not be. Maybe it's like like assert something like assert or I don't know body error. Why do we need to do all this stuff? Um. is not going too well so far. IOTL is not existent. Maybe I should import that thing. IO util. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Well, this could have been worse. I've got to admit IO. I think it's part of the... Uh-huh. It should be something like Import IO IO itself, okay. Did I get that? But, uh huh, body declared and not used. Oh, so bad. How could it not use it? Such a good person, I guess. Body. In the eyes of. In the eyes of Go language, right? Okay. Fantastic. Now I have a, some binary I put. Um, is it binary? Even? No, it's like an R, a massive, massive list of things. Um, is there a way to process case in body? I like, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to get a HTTP response, right? JSON response parsers. Wow, people like people writing medium posts on how to parse JSON. That sounds like primitive thing. Wow, what, what what is what is this thing? Encoding JSON, <sighs> parsing JSON, encoding JSON. Okay. Um, I mean, people who who don't go, I think they will be outraged that what are what I'm doing right now. But again, I've never type payload structures. Uh huh. Function main uh, route or get whatever. Mm -hmm. JSON new encoder encode P. How do I decode it? Um, doubles.
decode. Oh, maybe do I decode, decode? I guess I should be decoding, right? Uh, Golang, HTTP, JSON, or a response. Programming in 2018, just Google it and parse JSON, HTTP response, use a Golang. That's how like people get in their programming careers I can't write. Example, okay, so seven votes, not reading that reading this, right? Um Uh-huh, okay, so what we receive here I think this is like some byte code or something. By decoder, JSON new decoder R. Bytes. What? Why bytes? What do you mean bytes? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm sure it does, but response. Okay, post. Encoding and encodation with goes. It should be a hard call. Um. So this thing is posting. I need a get. I would that be doing like get. Dot get. No. JSON new JSON decode R. What is this? Uh huh. New decode R body response. JSON new decode R body. What? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? What, what does this mean? You user. Why does it need these arguments? User. Oh, maybe, maybe that's like the output. It's like what's gonna get assigned. Hmm. Encoding decode. Yeah. So body is a structure, and you need to. Oh, someone told me that JSON needs to be. Like you need to define the structure of your JSON object that you're planning to store. Whoa! I was not expect. I was not prepared for that when when I was starting this video. How how can I just output? Can, can I just output this thing? Print a body. Body needs to be a structure. Oh. JSON need a coder res body. Um, can I can I just do? I wonder if I can just do. Um, not language for me because it's not it's like requiring you to be super OCD from first second I'm happy to be OCD but like after things are working like what are the things that I believe the purpose of programming language like you should like the programming languages that are trying to like enslave people and behave the way they are is, is bad like what are you, the products the way products should be built is like to be designed for humans to use and not for humans to adapt to use those products. Those are shitty products where you need to adapt to use them. Um, is there like an easy way to process this? Going 
JSON HTTP response. How to get HTTP JSON response in Builder. Huh? Okay, now we're talking HTTP client timeout seconds. Get JSON. URL string target interface Y. What? Error. Alright, whatever. My client. HTTP client get URL. If URL return error. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is how, how it works in, in the Golang world, right? You need to return. Error, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, defer the body clips, right? Have we done this? Yes, we've done that, right? Response body clips. Need a quarter target. What's target? Target is an interface, right? Can I just. So, example use case. New foo. Who is our structure? So ah uh, uh -huh. So this function is sort of assigns to the target. And can I just like print it? Can I just like print this thing? Why do I need to like assign to the target? Okay, maybe someone else. Something here. Hmm. You know what? I don't even really know where to begin. All right. Go is not. It's not very fun. So far, even though my friends overhyped it a lot, I'm sure it's like super performant and things like that. And that's and that these are sort of the side effects of its performance. But as a developer so far, for just starting with it, I'm not very excited. Um, like I'm super annoyed that I need to like. Pass, like assign. I cannot just like console log this thing. The, the result of the JSON. Why do I need to like assign it to a target? And target needs to be like defined as a structure, as an interface, right? So this is like passed by reference, I guess. My wrong. A target. Uh, I just want to. There was some, someone was doing like right. Uh, print. No, it's no, no. Uh huh. Okay, so what was this number? No, no, no. Sorry. Maybe we can do. Oh, maybe just decode. Maybe get a code just like that. So, um. Mm -hmm. uh, do the assignment. Jason body for this. I'm sure it cannot. Too many arguments to return. Have and want. Um, but does have body. There's no field and not the body, but does have body. Right. Oh, okay. um, this is still on thing to me, arguments to return. What does this mean?
Marshall. Unexpected in the line, unexpected type. Uh huh. Uh, fix. Can I do this? Sorry. Of course. Unexpected. Jason, how is it done? I fucking just defined it here. Too many arguments to try have error want this. That's that that makes a lot like what like what a WTF WTF. What does this mean? Too many arguments to try have error want. I want this to work. I'm not sure what you want. Um Decoder decode data. Someone did this tracks. It's supposed to be a structure, I need to really define it. It sounds like a like and you have if you not have a properly defined structure, you are out of luck. It sounds like a what the oh it doesn't make sense. Okay. If I can I try to Jason, I'm not sure you guys living here in Prussia on this part. This new plan is messy out there, right? There was structure, data structure is really a mess. 
How can you expect things? This for her. <laughs> I should be I should have been live casting this so people could be like helping me on the go. <laughs> on the go. What a pun. Not funny. Not funny at all. What if I'll just I'll just do dumb stuff and just copy paste? Do we need time? Now I will just remove this thing. Okay, also I'll just what do I also do? I will just I'll open up sublime text. Main go. Cause right? Like why why on earth? Uh from my way this time. My client. Okay, function. Your success, right? What did these guys recommend? I have like whatever. Let's, let's assume I have some random structure. Random structure. Structure random. Foo. One. Okay, let's 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 do this. any arguments to return okay mm -hmm. this is very exciting sorry cosmo of course Good job. I think I had this like a programming language that is really easy to to get started with go by example If I won't fix this in a few minutes, I will just give up. And consider that my production to go is done. Um, because like, like, I'm not seeing the benefits so far. Yeah, I do like that they're like, it's clean language more or less. Certain things are enforced, like errors. But, not seeing. Not seeing it. Body bug. 
So what do I do then with this body? Defer. Kind of error. Okay. This is like a lot of work for a programmer to program. Just to make a post request. Mm -hmm. Should not be using an interface ideally. Cool, cool. Says. Not enough arguments in a call you need to code or decode. Undefined data. Can I do that this? Uh -huh. An assignment should be like that, right? Expecting type. Ah, oh, it's strongly typed language at the beginning, right? Expecting type. Can I just do this? This will not work, of course, right? Too many arguments to return. Doesn't make sense. Come on, Kai, give me a response. Expect me to type. Who came up with this terminology? What the fuck? Data. It's a data. Tracks. What if I do not know the structure of Jason on Marshall Byte S
F. Um, playground example, I'm Marshall twice. As structure. The rest of the data phase should go here. If, what if I... This is simple stuff. Why is this so hard? Let's assume this. We can do data. I sort of understood what is this thing doing, sort of. So we have this response body, response body, right? Now we need to print out your data. Does this work? Of course not. Type. We can and not use the force not right because I oh, um, I'll just I'm trying to ignore errors as much as possible right? if error I don't care no variable on the left side of error to declare not used is there like something like four? Seems that okay, so this is like a list of all job descriptions, but look for uh huh. Okay, it's not too bad, it's not exactly the output that I wished for, but it's still an output. And, and okay, so I think the cool thing about Go is that if I go build main equal. output an executable 5 mega why what did you do there 5 megabytes I think it contains all the like important stuff it's a lot oh 
All right, so I think we, we managed to parse something. It's still... Uh, not sure how I feel about go after this one hour experiment. But yeah, hope you guys had fun. Getting started, go. <laughs> go, write some go. I'll go write some more JavaScript. Almost forgot, make sure to subscribe below and follow me on Twitter and follow me, um, yeah, mainly Twitter. You can follow me twice. See ya.